All right, so today I want to talk to y'all about the blueprints that I consider to be the cool blueprints, blueprints, especially for putting gold, platinum, and Damascus on. First one is going to be the heat cycle. I like this one because I like to use the 10 millimeter rounds on my MP5. So this heat cycle, I like the way that it shows the camo on the clip. So you got a gold one. It's going to show the gold on the clip. Plat same thing with platinum, same thing with Damascus. These, this is like probably my favorite gun in the game. Um, the clip matches the gun. A lot of guns don't have that. And I like that a lot. This hot nugget one. This one's cool because whatever camo you put on it. It doesn't show on the sight for gold. But for platinum, you get a platinum, you get a platinum sight on there, and the platinum compensator, and also for gold, the compensator, and for Damascus, you basically get a full Damascus gun, which I think is really cool. This is my favorite pistol, anyways. I don't really pull a pistol out unless I'm in a tight situation and I just ran out of ammo with my primary weapon, and the fact that this is like a full Damascus, um, a full Damascus deagle. I like that a lot. Another one, this victory lap, I don't like to keep it the way that it comes, so you can change things around, but as you can see, platinum, the, the suppressor turns that color, you know, it might be cool for dual wielding. I would take the scope off. I usually take the scope off, so mine usually looks, uh, mine usually looks something like this when I use it. I don't like the sight on it, but it does look cool how the um, how that suppressor matches whatever camo you put on it. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's a little bit of a grind to get this one, but we finally got it. And this actually isn't a bad class if you're trying to use it for range. It's not a bad class. You could change some things up a little bit maybe. Wow, so this actually has better range than using the monolithic suppressor, so if you want the most crazy range uh, pistol, I guess this would be probably your best choice. The Steel Curtain AK-47, I like it because it changes the look of the AK from being like the wooden AK to being the more modern looking AK. It looks even different. It's got a different rail system because I don't use this sight. I might have to start using this sight on the AK because it looks way better um, than with the iron sights with this. I know that it doesn't aim in super fast, but the AK, it's really not the best weapon anyways. So I'm not too, too concerned with certain aspects of it. This X16 Howler looks really good in my opinion with platinum on it. It looks good in gold as well, but I don't think it looks quite as cool. I like that kind of carbon fiber type of look with the little patterns on the on the grip and everything. It looks all right in Damascus as well, but I think platinum's the best looking way for that one to be. It looks cool normal and it looks cool with gold, but I just think it looks really really clean with platinum. So yeah, this is, it's all opinion, it's all preference, so you gotta just go for what you like, but, wow, I failed, and it's a little bit of a grind, but it's worth it, and when you're doing some of these challenges, these mission challenges to get shit, you can um, do one of the challenges, if it's involving like do X amount of matches doing this, you can do it in one match and then leave the match. I know that's a little bit scummy, but you know if you want to get it as fast as possible, you can do that. This Urban Defiler, this one's my favorite one for gold. It looks all right with these. You know, if you want something different for Damascus that doesn't have that pattern right there that's like on the slide in the middle, if you want it to just be the black and blue, that's kind of cool, but I prefer it with gold. This is what I use for my X16 for dual wielding. This, it rips up close, and it looks really cool having two of them in your hands. I think it just looks different 
than the, um, the regular X16s. So I like that a lot. The Jack Frosty, this one's only for PS4 players. I like the way it looks a lot. One thing that I have to say is if you move, if you change the barrel, it basically ruins it. So that's that. You know, you can put different camos on it and have a blue tip. So I mean, that's cool, but I prefer, I think it looks best the way it is. This is one of my favorite ones, period. I just love the way this blue looks all over the top of the scar. I don't use the scar a lot, but you know, if I do, I'm gonna use this one. Ruby Rampage P90, I like the way this one looks a lot. I almost prefer it just like how it is, like this. But with camos, it does look pretty cool. Looks pretty good in gold. Looks pretty good in platinum. And then Damascus, I like it in Damascus as well. I think I like it plain in gold. Normal and then gold probably the most. That's just me though. Yeah, I like this one a lot. I don't really use the P90 very much, but you know. Some of these guns I would even get just so my character can walk around with them in the main menu. I know how dumb that is, but <laughs> it is what it is. People like what they like. Everybody has their own preferences. So this is what the regular MP7 looks like with gold, platinum, and Damascus. And as you can see, it's got like that built-on kind of like foregrip looking thing on the front, that little black square thing that almost looks like a fucking Lego and that's cool but you can get this piercer mp7 really easy to get not hard not easy to select apparently really easy to get and it looks way better in my opinion okay the riptide this one's for winning the gunfight tournament if you change the foregrip though you're gonna um you're gonna lose that look and if you change the ammo of course you're gonna lose that look but other than that this one um, if you're having trouble with the gunfight tournament it's not really that big of a deal and I don't really necessarily think the operator four grips even the best you know if you like the way that it looks then I would go for it I like it in um, platinum actually the most because I think platinum looks cool with these yellow details but they're such a minor thing, like you're only really going to see them when you're running or sprinting or whatever. So I think this was a cooler prize for the um, gunfight tournament, this little charm right here. I think this is pretty cool. You don't even really notice these yellow details unless you're sprinting. It doesn't have a different iron sight. If it does, it's like really, really hard to notice. Not, necess not necessarily my favorite, but... So here's what the Riptide looks like. This must have been in the, um, the Battle Pass. That looks kind of cool. It's the very first unlock in the Battle Pass. I think it looks really good with Platinum on it. I don't really use... I mostly just grind to get the guns that I use for the most part. So it's really just all up to preference. And that's about it right there for the uh, for the variants that you can get right now that I think are worth it. Um, there's some more challenges. There's all of these are free to get. They're just like a grind basically. And so I wouldn't really consider um, all of these to be worth it unless you really want it. This one, the Silver Star, I want this one, but I'm hearing that the um, that this one's bugged right now and people aren't able to get it. But basically what you're gonna get, if you like don't change the muzzle, you're gonna get that gold look right there. And I think, um, you know, so basically you're gonna have gold details depending on what you change. Some of the attachments that you put on there might throw off the look of that. You're not even gonna really notice that gold on the optic when you're using it though. It does have a little bit of a different shape of the gun, so it might be cool. I don't know, I would wait, or I would get... I know the first the first five objectives are working, and then the sixth one's like not tracking properly or something like that. 
So I would wait to do this one. This one's definitely the hardest one, like 50 juggernaut kills in any operation, 20 finishing moves, 10 tanks. You know, it's it's a pretty tough challenge. If you use the AUG a lot and you like the way it looks, I would go for it. I mostly only go for things that I use though. I'm kind of curious about this feeling rusty. I'm stuck on this using spotter, hack 15 pieces of equipment. This one's kind of tedious. I might post a picture of this one or something once I get this one. I'm, I might just run this one in the background as a challenge to, um, to do. And then I'll link the picture of what it looks like with the different, um, the different camos on it once I get it in the description and everything like that so you guys can see what that looks like. Some of these look really cool with just a lot of these normal camos on them. Just the way that it changes the whole the whole look of the gun. So you really got a lot of options with some of these blueprints. You can really give them some really cool looks just by using the blueprint and then finding what you think looks the coolest on it. There's a whole there's a lot of options with these different with these different blueprints especially the ones that basically trans especially with these that translate the look of the camo to the whole gun Ooh, that looks pretty cool a lot of these look cool like that a lot like the Jack Frosty you're still gonna have some of the blue details on there which is kinda cool I think some of these look cooler than the um, than the completionist camos on some of these so you gotta experiment with the combinations and see what you can get, see what looks good to you. That looks pretty tight. I like that white and blue. Wow. That looks good too. That looks nice too. So I mean you got you got a lot of possibilities of ways you can customize the look of stuff using these blueprints. This was my favorite. That looks pretty cool right there. Anything that matches the color of the gun and then adds something else to it, I think can be pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. So you really got a ton of different options how you can make things look. Once again, it's just all up to preference. This one I thought was really cool. You can really get a whole lot of different looks. Basically get a full camo of whatever you're using on any gun almost. It does look a little bit dingy and scratched up and stuff with these regular camos on this one, but you might like it. That looks kind of cool. I prefer the completionist camos on this one. The Riptide actually looks cool with some of these spray paint camos. That's the regular. The Riptide looks pretty cool with some of these. Riptide might actually look better with some of these than with the completionist camos. That looks pretty cool. See, because the completionist camos take takes that yellow off of there on the top, but those camos don't take that off. I don't really like this on this because it looks kind of scratched up, but yeah, 
you can get a lot of different varieties. Everybody have a great day. I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.